Hey YouTube, I'm back again with another video. I've been gone for a while, as you can see. I was in boot camp and then A school, and then I finally decided to do this video. I was being gonna do it in A school, but I pushed it back, I don't know why. But anyways, I'm about to get straight into the video. If y'all hear noises, it's my fan, cause it's hot in my room. I'm in San Diego right now, and I got the window open, so you might hear cars and stuff, but I'm gonna talk as loud as I can. But we about to get straight into the video. First of all, let me take this off because it's hot. So before we start, I think I should like give y'all tips and stuff before y'all even go to boot camp. I'm sorry, I thought somebody was looking at me through my window. Okay, so before we even start, I'm gonna give y'all tips before y'all even go to boot camp, like while y'all in the debt program. Hold on, get comfortable. Okay, so my first tip to y'all is learn y'all Sailor's Creed, learn y'all chain of command, learn rank. Like chief, petty officer, senior chief, master chief, learn all of that. Um, learn, let me see. Oh, learn your general orders. Because they're going to be testing y'all on that 24-7. Especially when y'all watch. I don't want to get caught lacking on watch. Because I promise you, it's not It's not even funny. Like, they just be going so hard for no reason. Like, I never got dropped and had to do like the blue card or whatever. But I saw it and it's not cute. Oh, and my last tip is to be I'm just about to close my window because that's not it. Okay, so my window's closed. My other tip was to be caught up on all your physical stuff before you go. Like your run. I know my run, I do it in. I'm not even gonna lie, I forgot my time. I think it was like 14.45, that was my time. And be caught up on your push ups and your plank. Your plank, you can max out on the plank. I think the max out limit is max out limit. The max out time is, well, do not quote me on this. I might be wrong. Hold on, let me look it up. I think it's like four minutes to max out a plank. Four, yeah, four or three minutes. And then for your push ups, I know for my age, I'm 19, it was 25. But yeah, um, just be caught up on all that stuff because that'll make boot camp so much. So, oh my God, when I say so much easier, it'd be a breeze, literally. If you caught up on all that stuff I just said, you don't even gotta worry about nothing. You won't be scared. The only thing you gotta worry about is like the new, like the new environment, cause it's 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 something. Okay, so first I have well, my boot camp experience was different because I had to wait longer because I was in a performing division. Not one four, yeah. But anyways, I was in a performing division, so we waited like a week to get picked up, and then meanwhile, when that was happening. We were just going into the 10 week boot camp thing. Cause it was eight and then it turned 10 weeks literally while we was waiting. So, but anyways, so this is how my boot camp went. I'm not going in like week by week order. Cause I really don't remember. I'm just going by what I remember. Like the order I remember. If I get that. Anyways, okay. So the first week we call it P days. P days is basically shots the depth test oh make sure y'all study on the depth test because that's easy rank up that's so much oh my god i wish i would have studied y'all i'm so dumb i didn't study for nothing before i went to boot camp but yeah study on the depth test that's basically your chain of command that's really all i think it was yeah just your chain of command and some questions about like navy stuff it was easy but i didn't know none of that stuff until i was forced to know it because I didn't study before. But anyways, the chain of command, your shots, basically all the medical, dental, they basically like making sure nothing wrong with you. They took blood draws, urine, well it's called urine analysis, but they took your urine. Um, they gave you the shots. That's when you got the peanut butter shot. Um, I'm gonna tell you about that after I get done telling you about this. But anyways, that's when you got the peanut butter shot. You got a whole bunch of other shots. I think I got like 12, mm -hmm. 10 i don't know i think i got 10 shots all together and it was terrible and then i got the peanut butter shot last and oh my god when i tell y'all that was my butt was sore for the next week literally like i could not do nothing and then to top it off after that i think it was the next day they had us doing our practice um pfa well i'm not gonna call it yeah practice pfa like you're 
first run and your first push-ups and stuff the next day and like when I tell you I was so sore like I had to redo my stuff because I was like that shot did not go well with me but yeah that was the first week the first week is basically like to traumatize you <laughs> it literally put me through I've never been so stressed out like never it's just stuff back to back to back to back and then like in the mornings like the first day they woke us up in the morning I was not like mentally ready for it i was just like oh my god and they expect you to get up like this and be in front of your bed be in front of your bed like this i was like getting off my bed he talked about some my um rd2 was like reverently 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 i'm not knowing what that means it's me like wake up get up you know but yeah anyways going on to week two the week two is like basically studying because y'all have that first test week two it's not that hard but you study still study because some people really failed it but yeah, study that test for week two. Keep on studying your study guide. Just study the whole thing, basically, so you know everything. Because you got tests in boot camp. That's only like two tests, though, and it's not that way. Two or three tests, and it's not that hard. As long as you study. It's like basically copying, like, it's basically a cheat sheet of the test. But yeah. Um, Y'all be doing bunk drills. Y'all be doing bunk makeup. Basically making your bed over and over. I hated this so much. This gotta be one of the top things I hate in you know, bunk drills and bunk makeup. You make your bed over and over again until you get it right. You gotta have the pillows a certain way, everything like that. And then you make your inside of your bed over and over again. Like you have to have everything folded a certain way. And you just do that over and over and over and over and over again. It's just annoying. And then button drills. I just like you bun your clothes up. You fold them. You unfold them, you unbutton them, and then you button them again and fold them. You just keep doing that repeated, repeated, repeated. Like, it just basically is teaching you how to fold your clothes and, like, be neat. Like, not okay, so messy. starting with week three. Week three, we did Marlin Spike. That's basically, like, the ropes. Um, I can't remember the rope name. I know it's a square knot, and it's another rope. I really can't remember. But remember those ropes. Like, you want to need those when it comes down to battle stations, which I'm not going to talk about in this video because that's something you have to experience on your own and they don't want us talking about that. So I'm not going to talk about that. But anyways, you do Marlin Spike, the ropes, and you learn in, well, you start in the learn first aid. You do your first aid class. I don't think that's the test test. Yeah, you start in the learn first aid. And then to week four, that's when you do live fire. Some people really be hyped about it and then some people be like scared because they never handled guns before. I was in the middle because I never, well, I shot a gun before, but this one time I didn't know what I was doing and I did not get my ribbon. So <laughs> I did not know what I was doing for sure. Um, I have to go back and do that again so I can get my ribbon actually because I still have my ribbon. But yeah, it was an experience. I mean, it was fun. I just didn't hit the target enough times. But anyways, next, <laughs> week seven, I believe we did the gas chamber. The gas chamber was, was fun. It wasn't as bad as people put it. It's not bad. Well, it wasn't bad for me because I was the first group to go in. So it was just like, it was just getting started. Um, Basically, you just hold your hand like this. They call it a cup. And then like, they tell you when to take the mask off. You take the mask off. Then you, I think they said a sailor's, no, you say, um, oh, uh, you say recruit. Seaman recruit Brad. Well, my mine's Bradley. I say Seaman recruit Bradley. Who y'all? Yeah, that's it. But yeah, it was fun. It was like hype, and then all our petty officers and well, all our RDCs was in there with us, so it was like real fun. It's an experience I will always remember. Cause but yeah, I didn't feel it when I was in the gas chamber. I felt it really when I got out. It, it like kicked me, like punched me in my face. Like it, I really felt it. Like it was like you just gotta keep blinking your eyes to like get it out. But that was fun. I liked it. I liked it. Week eight was test two. Y'all don't don't clown on me, but I felt test two. I did not study. Like I once test one was done, I didn't really look at that book. But I took it again and I got 100, so it didn't matter. But yeah, that was test two. I don't remember precisely what else we did. Like really all our stuff was like expand out and we really didn't do well. We did a lot, but we we had a lot of downtime because it was just the beginning of the 10 week boot camp and they was trying to figure out everything and they didn't really have much for us to do at the time but yeah after that week week nine we had battle stations battle station was awesome i'm not going to tell y'all what we did because we're not supposed to do that anyways after that week 10 we had the official pfa which i don't like it's so close excuse me 
I don't like it so close to graduation because people be feeling it and like your family members already buying the tickets and stuff like that. So they already coming. So it's kind of sucky for the people that failed it, but it was official BFA. You do the run. You run. I literally ran my heart ran out so much. And when I was running, I was literally crying. Like that was not about to fail. I was so stressed that I was going to fail because yeah, it's just scary. It's really scary. Like not even my pushups. I know I have my pushups and my planks. It's just that run. And then the Freedom Hall, the air is so muggy there. You just like, you feel like when you run it and you breathe in, it feels like, like, I don't even know. Like, you can't breathe sometimes. Like, it was very, very scary for me because I'm not a runner at all. But, but yeah, it was very, it was a, boot camp was very, a very, very, very new, I don't even know what to call it, a new experience. It was fun for me towards the end, but then the, the like the first two weeks i was so scared i wanted to go home i did not like it but it was worth it i say it was well worth it so put me in the position i am now it was very worth it i would do it again but i wouldn't like it but i would do it again um i advise y'all to go for leadership roles like rpoc a rock yeoman i didn't do it because i was just trying to sit in the back and get through it but it's really no sitting in the back because they're gonna see you and they're gonna get on you after that Graduation was nice. I'm gonna put some pictures up of my graduation. I was I was in a performing division, as I said. I was um in the choir. Performing divisions have the choir, the flags, the band. And yeah, I was part of the choir. It was so fun. It made boot camp better in my for me, it made boot camp better for me because you know it was like a distraction. I just get away for a second. And they weren't yelling at you or nothing. It was just better for me. But yeah, this is the end of my boot camp experience and tips videos. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe.